One of, the, one of the aspects of the health care bill, the House bill in Section 123, if anyone wants to plow through it, is that there is a Health Benefits Advisory Committee, uh, which is supposed to determine, uh, it has a big role in determining what it's are that are going to be in, in these uh, plans that are all required to buy uh, under pain of taxation. Um, that, that committee consists of 27 people, almost all of them are government bureaucrats or that are going to be uh, appointed by Obama. Uh, there, the the uh, provision in the House bill says that there should be at least one practicing physician or other health care provider. So we may have a committee totally of, of health care bureaucrats, possibly without even one practicing physician. And I would love to hear from the physicians here what they think of a committee who's going to determine our health care benefits that doesn't even have uh, practicing physicians on it. Uh, I, I'd like to say, um before, uh, before you know, some people leave, uh, we have a petition here, uh, uh, a petition too that's going to be mailed to uh, Congressman Ackerman. As you heard, he favors actually he favors a single payer plan, but that's not what he's telling us. He's telling us that uh, the bill that's now in Congress for health care reform is about a public option. That means a competitive government insurance program that he claims will bring down the cost and increase competition. But we know, he said, he favors a single payer plan, which means a total government takeover of health care. So uh, what we'd like to do is have uh, you know, everyone signed the petition. If you haven't signed the petition, it's going to Congressman Ackerman. The videos are also going to be mailed to him. He has to come out of hiding. We have to send him our voices. We have to follow him. We have to pursue him so he answers these questions and that we can make him accountable and hold his feet to the fire. So please, let's pass these around. If you haven't signed the petition, please do so. So we'd like to just have the people come up to the microphone. We've got a, a statement or a question here, followed by there. I believe the gentleman back there wanted to go after that. So please, did any, did any doctors want to respond to this? Uh, yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Did any doctors we can't pool our resources to be able to buy insurance? And now, how ironic that the federal government has a great idea to create a co-op. The government can do it, but we can do it. And, and they're denying this to us. And I think that if you look across the board, there's a website you go to and you can put your different state to see how much your state costs you more because of things your politicians put in there to make it more expensive. Uh, New York routinely in different insurance categories comes up the worst. Uh, and it's because of our politicians. So when you're sitting here and someone paid two thousand dollars a month insurance, it's our politicians that did it to us. So uh they were uh, very true, very true. And the media is presenting one side of the health care story and really doesn't care what the other side is. And that's why these town halls are important, because you guys can actually get out here, listen to some experts who know what they're talking about, like Dr. McCoy, who can tell you where this is going. Um, it's not mind control, it's the media's brainwashing, although it probably works in very much the same way. Um, go ahead. Anybody hear me? Hi. My name is Rob Morales, I'm a retired police officer, and I've seen a lot of stuff where criminals will go into a hospital and get out before regular patients because they got to get them in, treat them, and get them out. There is no, we can't treat you because you have no insurance. They're trying to sneak in taxes. There are people who come and be here every night fighting these things. We need you to get out and help on the left people who are spending money. They're trying to hide taxes. They're trying to get things in there without us knowing about it. Hoping we don't care. I'm asking you guys to come out and care. Support people that believe in what they're doing, not people who just do things robotically. And it takes time, it takes effort, and it takes money. So if you really do care, please come out and help. And that's all I have to ask you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tom. Okay, I'm a civil servant, I'm a landlord, and I'm a property owner. And there's a side angle that we're missing on a lot of these things. So bear with me a minute when I, I go around to it. When you look at our community, you see hundreds of illegal apartments in private family homes. Okay? Now, the reason I mention that is because they said something about 40% of the people in the U.S. pay no taxes. 
Therefore, they're all in favor of spending money because they're not paying for it. Okay? It's very simple. Now, one of the ways that we have to get around that and come back is, right now when these guys take a single family home, and bear with me for a second, when they take a single family home and they turn it into a four family apartment building, they deduct all of that interest off of their home mortgage. That comes off the federal tax that they pay. They also don't pay any income tax on those other three or four families. So they're giving us a double whammy. Now, how does Ackerman look at that? You have a household of maybe three voters. That home has 12 voters in it. So who do you think Ackerman is going to listen to? He's going to listen to the household with 12 voters. Okay? So when my kids try to go into the school and get into the nursery program, they were almost shut out. The school is across the street from my house. I got there at opening time. Before I knew it, my, my kid was like third off last of the list to go into this. So what I'm asking you guys to do is, one, I'm with one of the community associations, and we get like 15 people coming down to the meeting. And we're all here to complain, and they did a fantastic job of doing that. But a lot of people have abandoned the community associations who are fighting for that. So when these guys come down, they see 15 people in the audience, they go home. They don't want to hear that. All right? So that's one thing we got to do. Second thing is, is we have to go around the other way to get these people to pay their taxes. So by turning in these apartments, by beating up on our politicians to get the fire department to come down there and shut these illegal homes down, and it's the same thing, I'm a, I'm a landlord, we get these people who are collecting benefits in New York and they're living in, in Puerto Rico. They just simply collect the checks here and, and, and they go there. But they can vote here. So one of the things we have to do is a side approach. We have to get rid of these illegal homes in the community because then you get rid of the illegal voters. So now your household of two people who are paying the taxes doesn't have to vote against the household of 12 where they're not paying taxes on it because a lot of people are working under the book so they pay no income tax the landlord takes it off his income tax he's not paying taxes on the money so all of these things you're paying for it so we, we I'm just trying to say we have to get a little bit smarter and not just go directly at them we have to go sideways at them. And that's what I'd like to see you guys do. I'd like to see you guys join your, your community associations, pay the $10 dues, and join the associations. And in this way, you know, we, we can fight this around the side. Thank you very much. My name is Ray Mooney. I'm from Flushing. And I'm primarily here tonight because of my pro-life passion. Until recently, I worked for Priest for Life. with what's happening in Priest for Life, National Right to Life Committee, and all of the pro-life committees in this country. What I'm going to share with you right now, I feel very confident of. And I was wishing I could have asked um, Betsy this question, uh, because I know she's read this bill many, many times. But here's the thing you need to know. The Obama administration and their dupes at NBC and other of uh, the public um, broadcasting companies are going to tell you, oh, abortion's not covered. The word abortion does not appear in H.R. 3200 at all. And they're right, it does not appear. They think we're stupid. They think that if the word does not appear, it means that it can't be covered. Excuse me. It's the other way around. If the statement is not in that bill specifically that abortion will not be covered, then by default it will be covered. There are already 50 million abortions in this country since 73, 1.2 million abortions every year. And if this goes through, there'll be more. Thank you. Thank you.